We've had a busy morning already. We went to the dentist. I had a midwife appointment, but now we are going to go pick up a pig that we had butchered. And I'm going to show you exactly how much meat you get when you butcher a pig. Just got home, get all the meat in the house, and we are going to go through together to see what we got. Now, really quick, I'm going to be a little self-conscious here because I went to the dentist and got a filling this morning and I'm still half numb. So if my face looks a little, yeah, that's why. So we get two pigs every single year. This is actually the first time that I've gotten only one pig at a time. Normally I get them both at the same time. So this seems like a very little amount of meat to me and I'm almost kind of scared. <laughs> like I feel like I should have got a third pig. But we pay $350 to the person that raises the pig. They get $350 from us. And my total at the butcher was $369.98. It costs $80 to get it slaughtered. It costs $165 to process. $100.05 for curing. $9 for seasoning the sausage. And I guess that's all they wrote. And then there were $16 in tax. So let's go through and see what I got. And I'll also show what I would like to have got. Here is the list I made when I was going through what I needed to order. I wanted bacon, breakfast sausage, ground pork, hams. I didn't need very many roasts because I still have roasts from last year. So I wanted to see if I could do ground pork instead of roasts or maybe steaks instead of roasts. I wanted my hams cured and smoked this year. Normally I don't. I wanted the ribs, tenderloin, cheddar brats, pork chops, leaf lard, the rest of the lard. I wanted whole feet so I could make broth and they won't do that. I wanted the hocks. Um, I did want either pork butt or Boston butt, whatever you call it. Those roasts I did want. And I wanted the organs saved. Called. This is what they could get me with the first pig. Second pig, I will get a few things that I didn't get from this pig. So first things first, I have got a giant box of lard. And this will be made into cooking fat. I do have a video where I show kind of a day of how I go through making my lard and rendering my lard. I will link that down below or up here if I can get it up there. So if you want to watch that and see how that process works, you can go check that out. First box. Okay. I have a big family. We go through a lot of bacon. So I think I got two pounds worth of bacon per package. So that gives me one... 12 two pound packages of bacon, two packages of the ends and the pieces. Pork shoulder butt steak, I got one, two, three, four, five of those. And I think I wanted, I think I told them four or five pounds per each one. But remember, I have a big family. So if you have a smaller family, you'll want to do two to three, three to four pounds nine packages of breakfast sausage i thought i told them two pounds but maybe i only got one pound so one pound of sausage nine nine one pounders and then three pounds of ground pork i got eight smoked ham and two packages of smoked pork hocks i got 10 packages of pork chops with six chops per package at three-fourths of an inch I got two packages of spare ribs. I'm not sure exactly how much is in here, um, but usually when I make them, I'll make both packages per, for one meal because we can demolish it and still not have enough ribs every single time. And then I also have two packages of pork liver. So there you go, that's what you get when you order a pig. Now you can obviously customize it to whatever cuts you want, but this is what works for our family. Next pig that we get in the next few months, I'm gonna make sure to get some cheddar brats, obviously more bacon, I'll probably get more sausage, and I guess I'll see where I am at for meat at that point to see what else we need to order. But that's it, that's what you get when you butcher your own pig.
you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next week. Thank you.